So today I will show you how you can render your background and your shadow separately in Movie Render Graph. So if you don't know about Movie Render Graph, it's a new feature in Unreal Engine 5.4. And with Movie Render Graph, you can render multiple layers of the object. Like I can separate the background from the cone and all the front object. I can render this object as a layer. And I already made a tutorial on this stuff. Uh, you can watch that thing. I will put the link in the description. For this tutorial, I will show you how you can render the shadows separately. Just shadows, okay? So if you use Blender, or any other software uh, you will see that they have a feature called shadow catcher but in unreal engine we don't have that type of feature so we have to do something different to get that shadow separated okay so in order to get the shadow separated from the object and the background we have to create a material that is our shadow post processing material so i will put this material in my patreon you can just go to my patreon and you can download this material and you will get my patreon link in my on my instagram i already covered this things how to make this graph in the previous tutorial you can watch that so in this one we want to separate the shadow from the background and the object okay so what you have to do you can just control d this and you can connect this thing to this one so it will look something like that and then in this one you have to just go to your additional post process volume uh sorry well not volume material and you can just add a new material okay so this is the material so you have to just select your shadow capture in this one that i give you and then you have to enable this thing and you have to make sure that the other two are not enabled you can disable the other two or you can just remove them like this delete so you have just one post process material so in this one you can see we have a post process option and if you are using any kind of post processing in your scene then you have to disable some options so the first option is vignette effect you have to disable this thing second one is bloom and you can disable the green also and yeah and everything is good so you have to disable this thing because it will create some problems with the shadow capture if you are if the settings are enabled then you have to just use a jpeg sequence and then i will create a new collection so you can see we have a new collection and i will name this thing um shadow catcher and in this one i will add a condition group and in the condition group sorry i will remove this thing i will select the actor tag and i will just press star so what it will do it will select all the actors in my selection so if you press star then it will automatically select everything and then I will create a new um, tab and in this one I will select the actors and we want to subtract our sky atmosphere, sky sphere and volumetric clouds because this will create issues with our rendering so you have to disable this thing okay so we are selecting this three and then we will go to add selected so these three are subtracted okay but right now you can see we have add option we have to select this thing to subtract it so it means that now this is subtracted from this this one okay so after that what you have to do you have to just drag drop and you have to just add a modifier so in this modifier i will name this thing called shadow and you have to leave this thing like that you have to enable this material and in this one you have to just search for white so you will get this white material paired uh, just select that one so you can download this thing from my patreon and after that you have to just add a render layer so you have to just add a render layer and i will just name this thing layer 3 and then you have to connect this thing to your output and if you're not getting this output option you have to just click add and you will get output option okay so you have to collect this thing i will uh remove output too so we have this output and now you can see we have this thing okay so we are using deferred render to giving the material in this one then we are using a jpeg and then we are creating a collection and we are separating the object from the sky so that it doesn't create any problem in the final render and then we are using a modify node and in the modifier we are overriding the material with the white material because if you leave this thing like that what will happen when you render your image the lines will be also rendered okay because this material this floor material has its texture this grid one so it will render from that grid and it will be very hard to subtract this grid material compared to a white material so that's why we are using a white material so that we can easily separate our shadows from the floor and that's why we are using this one and then we are just adding a render layer to the output so when you do everything just save this thing and you can just render your image and now you can see we are not getting the only shadow 
but you don't have to be worried about this thing because in the final render you will get a separate folder of not folder but separate images of shadow capture so i will just cancel this thing and in the main folder you will see that we are getting all the three uh, layers layer one layer two and layer three but we are getting the another layer of the shadow capture so if you double click this one you will see we are getting the shadow capture and right now you can see we are getting this grid line because the material that we put is not working correctly so we have to go to our test and in the modifier tab we have to select another material so you can use this material also and i'm sharing base so this is also white material you can use this thing also and let's see if this works Okay, so this thing is not working because we forgot one thing and that is the most important thing. You have to select your collection in your modifier or else it will not render properly, okay? But in the collection you have to add and you have to just add your shadow catcher. So this is very important or else it will not work. You have to save this thing and hopefully it will work now. And now you can see we are getting the white material in everything. I will just cancel this thing and if I go to this one and now we are getting proper shadows okay you can see we have a transparent background and we have this white shadows that we can easily extract this thing from our main object so I will just show you a demonstration I'm using DaVinci Resolve you can use any software it doesn't matter so I will just uh, drop a file so this is our shadow pass you have to just go to the fusion tab you have to search for Luma here and you have to add this thing and you have to just decrease the value of this thing and eventually you will get a shadow pass like this and you can increase the high and you see we are properly extracting the shadow with the background okay so this thing doesn't matter because it will be covered by our main cube and spear so we just focusing on the shadows and now what we can do we can just go to our color tab and we can just decrease the intensity now you're seeing nothing because we don't have any background i will just put a gray image and you can see we are getting the shadow okay now you can see we separate the shadows with the background and we are getting the objects separated also okay so like this you can render your shadow separately and you can do whatever you want to do and yeah that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching